Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila tournament match cast. This is going to be Total War Attila League hosted by Fixer and Rebel King. And right here we have the I match. And again, I'm part of Agony, if you don't know that already. Uh, so yeah, my match against Western Ruler X of CFK Clan. I'm playing as the Eastern Romans and he is the Sassanids in this first game. So we'll see how this one uh, plays out. Again, it is a best of three, not two games like the WCL. So no possibility for draws in this one. It's either going to be a loss or a win. Anyway, uh, so my build, I have a Magister Militum. Uh, he is, let's see, Bronze 3 with the ability to brace. Hurrah, hurrah. Then I have a Heteria Guard on each flank. I have three Tegmata Cav on each flank. Uh, then I have up front four Funditores. And in total, I believe, six Productores Domestici. So fairly, fairly uh, tanky build, I suppose, with all these Productores Domestici. And then I have the Heterias in the back over here, ready to pounce on my opponent's uh, units, destroy them quickly if I need to do damage. Like they are my damage dealing units essentially in this composition, whereas these Proctores are just holding units. Uh, though they can do pretty well in melee as well. Anyway, for the Sassanids, we have very strong build as well. So we see the Persian Noble General with uh, looks like the ability to the fear ability. Very interesting. Not quite sure why that is used. Six uh, Griff Bombard Cataphracts, three on each flank. Very, very, I mean, standard composition in terms of the Shock Cav for the Sassanids. Uh, it's fairly cheap Shock Cav, which is, by the way, extremely good. Uh, then we have, looks like, two Sogdian Warriors on each flank. In the center, four Dalamite Warriors supporting two Armenian Slingers. And a Persian Hurler on each flank. Oh, actually, two on the left, one on the right. So, I really like this uh, assassinate this build. We'll see how effective it is, though. Going to fast forward. And uh, let's see. Let us see, indeed. So, yeah, I have my flanking uh, contingents moving. Again, I want to use my Proctoris Domestici to hold and then uh, engage my Haterias into the fight if needed be. But yeah, Proctoris Domestici should do alright I guess against the Sogdian warriors. Of course Haterias guards would destroy not only just uh, his Delamite warriors but also his Sogdian warriors. So if it'll come to that, but we'll see. I mean, definitely I'm gonna have to engage my Hitereas at some point, but I have to be really care careful with how I engage them because they will just, they can get destroyed by shock cap charges and that's something that I don't want to happen to me. So here, looks like he actually just attempted to go into my Proctoros Domestici, but I did activate their ability here, which by the way is attacking Testudo, which does increase the, the entity mass. So it, it is still important against cavalry, but me being in this super wide formation may have not allowed, I mean, it still may have been very easy for him to break through with his Griff Bombars. But then he would have had to engage and he didn't have infantry support. So that was a smart move, the fact that he pulled out of that engagement. Now though, you can see he, my Tagmata is getting shot and slowed down, this is not good for me. And now his Griff Bombars are going to get an excellent charge off onto my Tagmatas here. But I'm going to have to send in Proctoros Domestici support. I've got an extra Tugmata cav unit here, which I'm going to send in. As you can see, I am making the formation deeper. Though now I'm activating the shield wall ability or attacking the Studo. I'm trying to start the fight over here, and I'm sending my Heterias in against Sogdian Warriors. Well, we know who's going to win this without a problem. No engagement starting on the other flank yet, because I believe I can win this engagement. Though my Tugmatas here, as you can see, getting destroyed by Griff Bombard Cataphracts. This is not good for me at all. I don't know why I'm pulling the products Do Torres Domestici out of this fight. Tagmatas are losing here, but Hater is, as you can see, clearly destroying him. Now I'm getting my Tagmata cavalry through here into the rear of these Sogdian warriors, but this does look a little bit weird. I don't know if the engagement was actually like this. My Tagmata should be able to beat the Griff Bombars in prolonged melee. Uh, and now we're just switching our forces over. I've 
I've got this Stigmata Cavalry that is going to go in against this Daylamite Warrior that is definitely out of position here. And I'm going to, as I knock that unit down, or actually, I, I'm, I guess I did knock it down. I'm going to go for a charge onto this Daylamite. But over here on this flank, as you can see, he has lost his Griff Bavars. But now I've got my Proectores Domestici here, which are going to try and support this fight. Not really fighting too well, and my Hitterias here definitely are doing a great job. Now they're flanking these Sogdians. Gonna move up these Protectores Domestici, which apparently are not in attacking the Studa. But it looks like they are, but it does the game doesn't say, so I guess it is kind of bugged. Uh, but here my Tagmatas should do well in the center. I'm going to get a decent engagement. Again, it says it shows that these units aren't the Studo, but it doesn't say that they're in the Studo, and I don't know why. You know, these Dalamites here are going to eventually die, and we're just sitting and looking at each other here. I don't know why. Uh, this is very weird. This is very, very weird. And I'm losing my left flank? Okay, I do not remember it being like this. Uh, but yeah, my Proectores to Mistici are going to clean house here against the Dalamite Warriors. Uh, Sogdians here should die to my Hatereas and such. His general is somehow still alive here. I don't know what happened. This is not the game that I played, I think. <laughs> so yeah, the Sogdian Warriors here, looks like they're gonna be able to beat my Proectores because I'm not using Testudo. Same thing over here. I am targeting this Griff Bombard Cataphract, which is apparently engaging my Protectoris Domestici. Uh, so it looks like now his his units here are engaged, but this is fairly strange. So what's going on here? I've got my Hatereas still engaging the fight here. Uh, now looks like they have broken through and I'm pulling through. I guess it's because I thought these units were dead. So yeah, otherwise I would not have done this by now. <laughs> This looks extremely weird, and I don't know how I'm losing the flanks, because this was quite decisively in my favor. Again, I don't understand why the replays are corrupted to this degree, because the game looked very good for me, as I recall, at this point, but it doesn't really look very good. And as you can see, again, again, pulling through this unit must have been dead or something, but I guess it isn't. I really don't understand what happened here. As you can see, again, pulling through here. This is kind of weird. And this unit must have routed then. <laughs> so now I've got my Magister Militum coming in here, which is going to connect with the Daylamites. This is this looks extremely weird. And on this flank, again, as you can see, he's got that Griffon bar over there. Must be, a, again, a glitch. And my Funditoris are still alive and in melee. Okay. I've got my Haterias, and I don't know why I'm using them like this. I see these units are non-existent so this is why I'm trying to go through I guess but yeah I'm going to engage this uh, cavalry unit Enemy forces have struck our general. apparently my general is dead I think this is gonna be the last match I record with the old patch. Even though it was a new hotfix, as you can see, this is this is the worst replay desync I have ever seen in this game. I'm just after a hotfix that fixes uh, balance regarding uh, Germanic levy, like eliminating the the precursors on them, really. And like they were, it's not like they were really used in the game. People just brought Germanic Spearmen, if they brought Spears at all, so I really don't get what happened here, but yeah. Just gonna go over game two quickly, and uh, that's gonna be it for all the replays, honestly. So this is game two of my match against Western Ruler. I did win the first game, but not according to the replays. <laughs> now I'm playing as the Huns, and he is the Western Roman Empire. Let's go over my composition as I go into slow motion. I've got the Step Warlord General uh, with a Brace. Up front I have a bunch of Step Bows, looks like 5 Step Bows, all in loose formation. Uh, supporting looks like 6 War Warriors and 2 Chosen Wars on the left flank. I do have a decent Cavalry Contingent too. Uh, against the West Romans I don't need a great one I guess. So I have a bunch of step cataphracts, looks like I believe five step cataphracts and a noble step cataphract. And that is my contingent. Now for uh, Western Ruler, who is the Western Romans. Mm -hmm. 
He has Magister Militum with Fear ability. He has three Cataphractari on the left, three Skull Apathina on the right. Uh, now he has his flanking contingents, well, one for the Taurus with the Legio Comitatensis. And in the center we see four Western, five Western Auxiliary Palatina, or Auxilia Palatina, supported by three Elite Palatina. Now that is an interesting choice to bring against the Huns. I mean, why would they bring so many spears against the Huns in the first place? I don't know, but as you can see, he is using Defensive Testudo. And I mean, Defensive Testudo is pretty good. Like, it's actually very good against the cab, but it's just very strange what the... Uh, I mean, uh, just bringing those units against the Huns. I mean, sure, Huns are, could bring very strong cavalry, but you need the infantry too, because Huns have very strong infantry. You need sword infantry or something. But yeah, we'll see how this game's gonna go. It could be corrupted again, who knows, but... Like I said, this is gonna be the last match I record with uh, with the old version I mean this la this is gonna be the last replay of the old version I record again I don't know why the hotfix just broke replays completely but I, I've had it with broken replays so I'm not gonna cast any of these uh, old version replays anymore sadly but, I mean the, the games were some of the games were really really cool which I'm sad that I cannot bring to you in uh, with how, how they actually were, but yeah, just just saddening for me at least. I, I wish you could have this option like, uh, for instance, how E4 does it on Steam, where you could choose, uh, you could go to like the betas uh, tab of that game and you could choose to play an older version of the game. Uh, this is not something you can do with Attila, but I think you could do with Rome 2 at some point, like you could enable beta patches like that, but U4 uses it not just for beta patches, but for uh, older versions of the game as well. So I, I really like how Paradox does it in that regard. And I wish uh, we could have that option too for uh, Attila, but oh well, let's watch this game. I'm gonna fast forward because as you can see, it might take a while and seeing that he only has two Fuente Taurus, I just decide to use my skirmish advantage here. So I just activate Flaming Shot. And here, uh, so I'm going to be firing at both his Cataphractari and his Funditoris here. But maybe I should allow his Funditoris to fire at my step bows because I don't really care. I mean, I'm not, I don't really care about the Funditoris. But anyway, whatever choice I make at this point is a good one. Killing his Funditoris or killing his cavalry. Because he only has two Funditoris, so I don't need to expend too much ammo to kill them. It's not going to be too difficult for me. As you can see, I'm firing on the Funitorius. And here's an interesting thing. So there is something called overshooting. So now I'm actually not just hitting his uh, his Funitorius. I'm shooting at them. But I'm also hitting behind the unit. So these Legio Comitatens is taking some damage. And the Scully Path unit. This is very important. And it's going to happen. Same thing over here, as you can see. Uh, these Carafractari taking damage. Because uh, as you can see... Overshooting is hitting these Cataphractari too. Uh, so yeah, now the step bows. I'm just gonna target this Legio Comitatensis and as you can see, I'm doing damage not just to the Legio Comitatensis but also to the cavalry. Maybe I should have used Heavy Shot at this point because he has like no... Uh, like I would have killed a lot more of these Legio Comitatensis had I used Heavy Shot. So probably would have been far better. But here, I don't know why I'm still targeting the Funitoris as they're out of ammo. So this is a bad thing. But I mean, I should just be targeting the cav, even if there's only, even if there's uh, overshooting as well, because most uh, of the arrows still hit the unit that you're targeting anyway. So as you can see here, Scully Palatina taking a lot of damage, and them just dying to <laughs> stray arrows is quite funny here. Let's look at them. They're taking. We're losing a very important amount of men here. I'm still targeting these Funitor is not a best choice, but as you can see, his cavalry has taken a lot of damage, whereas my cavalry has not really taken too much damage. So I'm very, very happy about the current engagement that I'm taking. So over here, you can see his Funitoris have come back, but it doesn't really matter at this point. And look at his comment attendances. Now he's gonna activate this Testudo. 
But it's not really gonna help him too much. Look at his Scully Path, you know, he's lost so much here and his Catafractari. Now I'm gonna start targeting the Catafractari and these units should start dropping in number fairly soon. Just look at the unit dropping. And he's not, not actually moving the Catafractari, by the way, which is very strange. He actually moved his cavalry here, but look at how low it's now become. And same thing over here, actually. He's taken significant damage on a lot of these units and already a Catafractari is gonna die here. I'm moving up my step post, so I'm, I finished off that Funditoris and I'm doing even more damage to his cavalry. So at this point, this looks extremely good for me. Uh, now I'm gonna get my step cataphracts here into these cataphractari. And as you can see, the cataphractari have taken so much damage from before, beforehand that it's kind of easy to dispatch them. I'm also gonna get my ore warriors here into the fray and once that happens, okay, I have infantry support in first. I'm getting my step cataphracts into the Magister Militum, which should do a decent amount of damage. I'm also going to force off this Funditoris. Look at his Magister Militum taking so much damage on the charge, already down 49. Here I'm still focusing on his cavalry, on his right flank. Just these step bows have proven to be so effective for me throughout this game. I'm getting my ores into these Western Auxiliary Palatina, and you'll see how quickly these ores dispatch them. I'm gonna get my general into this Elite Palatina, and the Elite Palatina is gonna take so much damage now. I'm getting more ores into the fray, I'm pulling out some of my cataphracts. I've got my more cataphracts into uh, the field here, which I can use to charge him. Sadly, I am mismanaging my units here, the Elite Palatina getting some shots off. But here I'm gonna go for a nice rear charge onto these Western Auxilia Palatina. Not like I needed though, but just gonna make it even easier for me to kill them. So this flank has completely gone to me and I don't need to engage on this flank at all. I'm just still using my volleys to kill off as many of these Scully Palatinas as I can. Basically, I reduced those units to half strength, almost. And now on this flank I've uh, achieved a very important victory. Now I'm gonna go for a rear charge with the Scatterfract should destroy this Elite Palatina. Let's see that rear charge. And here it's going extremely well. I'm gonna get my general in as well. His Magister Militum should die any moment now. Yes, the general is dead. This Scully Palatina is still at 32, but it's gonna drop more down to 31 right now even. Just look at all these Scully Palatina. This unit is out of ammo, but I don't want it to charge. And uh, now I've got, what is this? Four war warriors against a poor elite Palatine. <laughs> wow, poor elite Palatine, I guess. This unit is wavering and almost routed. Uh, just to fire uh, arrows. And now it's down to 28. So that basically has a few units left on the field. I have 1,739. He has 686 units remaining. Uh, now I'm just going to move up with my units. I'm going to start targeting the rest of his Scully Palatina taking even more damage. I mean, a calf charge is just going to destroy these units. Let's just watch a calf charge from these step cataphracts. Yeah, this Scully Palatina is gonna die. I'm I'm just gonna blob up the Scully Palatina onto my step bow here. And as it's stuck, I'm gonna send in my chosen ores with rapid advance. Here I have already destroyed that Scully Palatina on the charge with the noble step cataphracts. Noble Step Cataphract's not even losing one man. I'm gonna go for another charge here with the Cataphracts into his Legio Comitatenses. This is going to do so much damage, it actually just routes them. He's got this last Legio Comitatenses unit that is just going to die to the Chosen Ore. And now I'm just going to continue charging these Western Auxilia Palatine and getting them off the field here. Rear charging here as well. These units are not gonna like to get rear charged at all here as you can see and all the units are routing off the field and it is a decisive victory and this time we have battle statistics unlike the last game so I lose not even 300 men but I did do think I lost 300 more than 300 men in in the actual game but still Pretty decisive for me, I went 2-0 here, and again I'm not going to cast any more replays of the older version of the game, sadly, even though there are some cool games out there. But yeah, that is game, hope you all enjoyed, if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, or subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, share the video, and I'll see you next time.